Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations. I am Eric. So great to see you. I am bringing you your messages, your reading for the second half of March 16th through the 31st. Yeah, let's get to it. So as we shuffle here, just a little bit of shop talk. Um, if you have a quick question that you'd like to ask me, I am available on Instant Go. The link to my profile is in the description box below. And if you would like to uh, schedule, book a private reading with me, uh, there is some information in the description box about some readings that I offer, as well as my email address where you can schedule one, yes? Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. All right, Scorpio. So spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, sun, moon, and rising signs. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio at this during this time frame of March 16th to the 31st. Thank you so much, spirit. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Last shuffle, and then we'll cut the deck. All right, Scorpio, what have we got for you? We're starting with the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, independence. Standing on your own two feet. Owning your own reality. Yeah, I like that. I like how that feels. With the King of Pentacles. Hell yeah. But then we've also got uh, the Five of Swords. With the Six of Wands. Okay. Well, I'm picking up that somebody's putting up a front here. Somebody's putting up a front because there's five of swords energy here. So there's some sort of, there's some sort of fighting happening. Something happened. Now I remember in the beginning, the, I, I slightly remember what um, the Scorpio reading was for the beginning of the month. And there was some, some, some tumultuous energy. I remember the, the title was Someone's Gotta Shape Up. So I'm feeling like here, Scorpio, either this is you or this is the person you were dealing with, but somebody is like, is, is putting up a front like everything's okay when it's really not. And I feel that it's really not because of the, pay, the, the Five of Swords energy here. It's like, this is like, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling like they're, Gosh, I don't know how to put this into words. It's just like they're, they know something's wrong, um, but they're choosing to ignore it. Like they're choosing to just say, whatever, I don't care. And they know that that's not good. <laughs> they know that that's not going to help anything get better. Um, it's like they're doing it just, just for the sake of like being right <laughs> when they're not right to begin <laughs> with. You know, but as and, and the king of pentacles, pentacles is coming up because it's like, yeah, they're very stable. They're very grounded. They're very logical, but they're being very stubborn here. So you might be dealing with an uh, earth energy, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I'm a Taurus sun and a Virgo rising. So, yeah, I can be pretty freaking stubborn sometimes. <laughs> but when the, and the six of wands here is saying is sometimes it's like. It's like victor victorious, yeah, but then also it's like just parading yourself around with all kinds of pride and ego, like you really won something, but you have it because you have the five of swords here. Like nobody's won, nobody is winning, winning right now, okay? Not as long as, I mean, you can, look, let me just say, you can put up a front all you want, but honey, that doesn't change the truth. It just don't change the truth, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, like get with the program here. That's kind of harsh, but I mean, that's the energy that's coming through. It's like, I feel like I want to look at you and like, you know, shake you a little bit and, we, and be like, wake up, bro. Like, it's not all good. <laughs> all right, moving forward, we have the nine of swords. So, okay, you know, it's not all good or whoever, whoever is putting up this front, they know it's not all good because they're all up in their head about it and they're losing, they're kind of losing sleep about, over it. They're, they're anxious about it. 
So they're putting up this front to make everyone think that they're okay when down, deep down on the inside, they're like losing their shit, basically, with the Page of Swords. Mm. Um, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to figure out how to say this in the nicest way possible, but I, I I'm not gonna ch I'm really not gonna beat around the bush. Somebody needs to grow up a little. Like someone needs to learn to communicate. Someone needs to stop circling the situation and like um like spying on someone and like pull trying to get them back into their life and then just picking up that five of swords energy again, only to knock things down again, to just circle back and spy again. And like, it's like, I'm seeing a cycle here. And the person that's doing it is under, is aware of it because they're up in their head about it with the night, with the nine of swords. And they're anxious about it. They're losing sleep over it, but it's like, they don't know how to do anything else. They don't know how else to go about the situation. The situation, this, the, the, the person that we're talking about that's putting up this front lacks the emotional and the communicative uh, maturity to really effectively handle this situation in the best way that it can be handled. They, they have all the strength and the stability materially in the King of Pentacles, okay? And they may be very logically sound and know how to do what they need to do to get what they want, but when it comes to these, this whatever this interpersonal relationship is, they just don't have the skills. And it causes them anxiety because they want to be able to relate to people on a deeper level, but they just don't know how. But the point, the problem is they're stubborn. They don't want to take, and this may not be an earth sign. This just could be someone that's embodying this earth, this, this really stubborn earth energy that I'm feeling right now. They don't want to take the advice. They don't want to do the, do, take the steps to achieve that, that, maturity. I'm here. I'm also picking up that they don't, they're, they, they, they don't want to be vulnerable. And in doing something new to try and do something better, they are going to be vulnerable. They're going to be open to the fact that they may make mistakes and, but mistakes are how you learn. So there's no, there's no way for you to grow and improve if you don't make mistakes. If you just do everything perfectly all the time, what the hell are you learning? You know? So this, whoever this person is that we're talking about, they have to accept the fact that they need to start owning up because I'm seeing the page of swords here as a brat. I'm seeing, uh, and I hope people don't take offense to this, but I'm, I'm picking up on only child syndrome. Um, they're just so used to getting everything that they want when they want it and how they want it. They don't want to change. They don't want to do anything differently. They don't want to have to uh, readjust their situation really for their own benefit, but then also for the sake of healthy, having healthy relationships with others. Moving forward, we have the seven of wands. So someone's really defensive. This person, whoever the page of swords is, is really defensive about this with the knight of cups. Interesting. Please excuse me. I'm I'm uh, channeling the message here. Someone wants to send an offer. Scorpio, if this is you, uh, it doesn't matter. It could be you, Scorpio. It could be the other person. I, but this is not... Okay, so yeah. Yes, the Page of Swords is defensive. But what I'm picking up here is this is... For, the, for a lot of you, this is the other person. This is not the Page of Swords. This is the other person in the situation um, who who wants to yes who wants who wants to receive either receive a, a a message of love or give a message of love to this whoever the page of swords is um, but they've become very guarded they've become very defensive around the situation and quite frankly I don't blame them because if this other person is constantly going to drum up and I really feel like it's the other person that's constantly bringing up this five of swords energy yeah look they may you may be in love with them they may be in love with you but if they're constantly going to put up five five of swords energy you have no choice but to defend yourself I mean I would recommend honestly if they don't want to shape up if they don't want to like see a, see anything differently 
I, at this point, and we're, we're not even, we're just in the beginning of the reading here, but I'm already feeling like called to like, say, just cut this person out. Because if they're only just going to, again, they're going to just put up, keep putting up this five of swords energy. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. It is a lose-lose situation on all accounts. Oof. Next, the sun. Well, okay. With the four of wands. A happy connection. Illumination is here. I'm getting some twin flame energy with the four of wands. And with that, I'm getting that, you know, the sun is illuminating things for what they truly are. And that's helping a foundation. That's helping a, a way to rebuild or to reconstitute a foundation between the two of you whether you're a twin flame or not. Um, I'm seeing that there is hope. There is hope in this situation. The sun is here and it's illuminating a lot of things. Okay. Um, so that's very good. And as things are illuminated, you guys can work to rebuild, to come back together and rebuild this foundation that you both want, to be honest, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna throw it out there. You both want it, I can feel it. But someone's being a brat. Someone doesn't wanna accept responsibility for their actions. And that's what keeps this Five of Swords energy coming up. Next, the Ace of Swords. Ooh, with the Page of Pentacles. Well, I do like to see that. I do like to see that because what I'm picking up here is um, an epiphany an aha moment. It's like, oh, oops, I get it now. And so now they're, they're coming, they're kind of, they're kind of starting over here. They thought, they thought they were big and bad with the King of Pentacles, but then something came around and they had their, their, they had an epiphany and now they're kind of like, oh no, I'm, oh, I'm back at square one. I'm a page now, but it's not a bad thing because um, this is now giving them a chance to rebuild to reshape how they approach situations in the 3D realm, in the physical realm. They're, 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 they are now being given a chance to reshape things and to, re, to, to, yeah, to reshape themselves. Change up some of their actions, change up some of their habits. That is a welcome sight <laughs> in relation to this reading. The Page of Wands, oh my goodness, guys. So we've got three pages here. And it's right under the seven of wands. Oh, with the queen of wands. All right. So either, so there could be a fire sign here that you're dealing with. Could also be an air sign with the page of swords. Um, again, we're, I'm getting some more twin flame energy here with the queen of wands. The queen of wands to me um, represents the divine feminine. Um, and so what I'm getting here is, and I really like seeing this under the seven of under the seven of wands with the knight of cups because this other person that is represented as the page of swords, this could be the divine this could be a divine masculine, um, and with the ace of swords, they you know the epiphany happens, and not only do they approach the situation from a page of pentacles point of view, but they're also approaching it from the page of wands point of view. So like passion has been reignited here, or is going to be reignited here, and it's towards whoever the queen of wands represents. If that's a twin flame situation, that would be the divine feminine in the situation. If it's not a twin flame situation, it's someone that is seen as, um, well, it's either a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it's someone that's seen as a fiery, passionate, feminine energy type thing, like, um, um, Receptive, intuitive, magical, um, magnet, uh, ma magnetic, um, very social, very, very much the life of the party, the social butterfly, the person everybody wants to be friends with. This is how they're showing up here. And this other person in the situation represented by this King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords is now seeing you or um, the other person, if you are the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, Scorpio, it's you're either being seen as or you're seeing this other person that we're talking about as the Queen of Wands, and you are approaching the situation from a brand new passionate point of view. And you really want to come forward with this, this passion. You really want to um, live this passion with this person, experience it. Um, I mean, that don't, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna beat around the bush, guys. There is some there's some strong sexual attraction here. 
It's very strong. And actually, that has a lot to do with why this cycle has been going on in circles. Because uh, I'm picking up twin flame situations here. And it's the, it's the divine masculine. Um, they're being mirrored, their, their reality is being mirrored to them by the divine feminine. And they don't like it. <laughs> they don't, and I don't blame you. Like, you know, you don't, it's not easy to face yourself. It really isn't. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm like, oh, grow up, like, face, like get over it. No, it's not easy to face yourself. I get that. But if this is what you want, like if you want to be happy, if you want to be stable and grounded and you want to be your best self, you have to face yourself. And twins force each other to face themselves. Okay. So what I'm picking up here is the reason why this person has been so stubborn and has just been keeping this five of swords energy going is because they're being triggered. They don't like it. They feel like they're losing control of the situation. And when they when they see themselves as the king of pentacles, they've got all the control. And so they just keep lashing out. But, it, but bro, <laughs> you got to get over it. And, uh, and honestly, I don't, I'm saying that not to say that you have to get over it for the sake of this other person, like whoever the queen of wands is. I'm saying you got to get over it for yourself because if you don't, you're just going to keep repeating this cycle in your life over and over and over. And people are just going to be coming into your life. You're going to be running this cycle with them. They're going to leave your life. And then you have to start over with someone else. And it's just going to keep happening. So deal with it. You know, once and for all, honestly, just deal with it. Yeah, you'll be a better person in the end. And I know it's going to be painful. It's going to suck, you know, but get through it. It's worth it, I promise. Finally, Scorpio, we have the Hierophant ah, with Nine of Wands. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Scorpio, this is either you or this is that other person. They need to just keep going. They need to just hunker down, get some advice from, you know, spiritual counselor that they that they find is that they resonate with. Um, they need to do some soul searching and get in touch with the spiritual counselor or guide or with spiritual guide within, but persevere with it. Like keep going through it. Don't just give up because it's hard. Like, I understand you're already beat down, but, you know, shit's hard sometimes, all right? You just got to push. You just got to keep pushing. And the nine of wands, nine, excuse me, the nine of wands to me is my is the just keep swimming card, like Dory from, Dor from uh, Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, guys. And I know that's resonating with you because I just felt it in my heart. It's like, yeah, you needed to hear that. Just keep going. Hope, hope, keep the faith, man. <laughs> keep the faith and just keep swimming, yeah? Your inner guidance team is calling out to you. They wanna help. They really wanna help. They really wanna help you, but you need to, you need to just sit down and shut up for a second. <laughs> that's what they just said. I don't know, that's, that, that, I don't know who or how many people that's for, but <laughs> Yeah, they literally just said, just sit down and shut up for a second. <laughs> and they mean that with all the love in the world, but damn. Like, stop putting up this front, because we all know ain't nothing cute about this, and just listen for a second. This is your inner guidance team asking for this, because they want to help. They want to help pull you out of this cycle. But you have to listen to them. They love you. We promise. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. There it is. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm wishing you guys all the best. And I will see you for your April, first half of April reading coming up soon. Yeah. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.